Welcome to What's the Deal with Sam? Starring Sam Lillard. Join Sam as he discusses a wide variety of topics. Bagman. Now let's start the show. Thank you. Hey everybody. It's raining, so I thought I would talk about toilets. I don't know if I covered this specific topic in a different episode, but... I mean, you sent me to go back and look at all of them to check it? I've got your fucking mind. But, you know, I, I, I'm i pretty sure I haven't. And if I have, um, what are the odds you saw that anyway, right? I mean, what are the odds you're seeing this one? But enough of my depressing bullfuck. What I want to talk about is leaving the toilet seat up. That kind of thing. You always hear about that cliche about, you know, leaving the toilet seat up and how people get upset about it for some reason. I don't understand why, okay? I don't... Why is that such a thing? And and I guess the idea is that you might, you know, sit down and, like, if the seat is up, you know, there's nothing to sit on, you're gonna probably come down a little hard because you think the seat is, you know, where, where the seat is is higher than the... Uh, the hard porcelain shitter. So you're probably gonna go down hard, you're gonna hurt your ass, you know, maybe do some spinal damage. I don't fucking know, I've not done it. Um, I guess it could be a thing though, right? So then, of course, it's easy to get upset about whoever left the seat up, because apparently it's their fault. Um, here's the thing about that though. The idea is that you're upset because someone left the seat up, right? The idea is that whoever's upset about this is like, you're upset because, uh, uh, you know, it, it doesn't take that much time to do. It's like, you take a second and you, hmm, lids down. Why, why, that's not so hard to do, is it? It just takes like a second. It's easy. Man, I can't believe you didn't do that. It's so frustrating. Um... Yeah, you know, this also takes less than that second. It takes less time and effort, even though the starting point here is already a very little time and effort. It takes even less to just fucking look before you sit down. Maybe take a glance at where you're gonna place your ass. That ever cross your mind? I just think it's ridiculous because it's like just look, looking. It's so much easier than doing anything. You know, you just look, move your head, your eyes, just make sure, you know, you're not going to sit on nothing before you sit down. This is a habit that I've just naturally acquired, apparently, and some other people haven't, and therefore are blaming that on others because they can't take less than a second to look. Well, like, what the fuck? Like, really? It's not like somebody put a, a mouse in your bag of chips that are concealed and you're just kind of putting them in your face from this big uniform bag. This is like a place where you're going to be sitting down and chances are you're probably going to glance at the toilet once or twice before you even, you know, sit down, right? You're probably going to do it before you even consider sitting down. So you should maybe pay attention to that for like a, a fraction of a second. And realize that, okay, like, maybe the seat is up, maybe it's down. Doesn't matter if you look, because then you can change it yourself if need be. And in fact, what if multiple people go and want it up, or multiple people go and want it down? Depending on, you know, who they are and how they go, whatever you prefer. I mean, it could just end up being less work overall in general. And that's really the moral of the whole thus, isn't it? That it doesn't take that much time, that much effort. That's why you're so angry. And it would take less effort for you to just look. Yeah. I understand it could take potentially more. But it's a gamble either way. So, really, just, just look is my point. I've rambled way too long on this stupid thing. But just look. And, really, I want to know where this came from. Why this has been an issue. I mean... Where did this stereotype originate from that you should have the seat down? Um, I think it's sort of a gender thing because guys can stand up and pee so they don't need to sit down to pee. So then women are mad at men for leaving it up because they have to sit down for all that shit apparently. 
you know, I, mean, I can't, I haven't witnessed it personally. Um, nor do I have the proper, you, you know what I mean. But like, what, what's, what is the deal with that? Like, where did that come from? What, why does it, you know, Google search that for me and get back to me with the information. Because, uh, I mean, we've already established I'm too lazy to do fucking anything, so, you know, check that out, I don't know, and have you had other problems with this, or have you ever, like, sat down when the seed was not down? Leave that in the comments, the funny stories of when you didn't look and hurt your ass, you know, or maybe your pets get into it or something, uh, but that's more of, like, the lid than the seed itself, so, you know, that's different. I've been reduced to toilet humor. That's that's where I've been have gone to at and I mean this is as good idea as any, better than nothing at this point. We're just I mean we're just, we're just we're past the bottom of that barrel. That we we're like digging a hole beyond the bottom of this barrel. Really, the barrel is just there for show now. If we move the barrel aside, it would just be a hole in the ground. So that's where we are. And I probably shouldn't do another one on barrels. I did those. So I'll think of something.